Welcome at another Robo CNC video. Today we're about to start a very special project. A bronze memorial plaque for two young brothers who were victim of the Second World War. The plaque we're about to make has to resemble this existing one. And as you can see here, this is the result of the 3D modeling we did. For a bronze casting, we need a positive mold. This mold is made using foamed PVC, since this has a nice surface structure to resemble the old one. With a really small end mill, we start cutting out the lettering. This text is made using a 3 mm sheet of PVC or foamed PVC. In the corners of the plaque were some domed screw heads, which we made with a 3D strategy. This is also the way we made the profiles for the outside of the plaque, although I forgot to film this. The base will also be made out of foam PVC, 10 mm in this case. As you can see, this material can easily be cut using just normal woodworking tools. Since we still have to position all the small characters on the base plate, it's uh, easy to make a template, or well, the template will make my life more easy. Using this plotter we cut out uh, the template foil, or we cut out the design on a foil. After removing all the small characters, it's time for the application tape. This is needed to position the template on the base plate. Because all the loose pieces would stick to the foil, I start by tracing the template. This all seems like a lot of work, but in comparison with measuring every character's position, this is quite quick. After tracing, the template can be removed and I glue everything in place using CA glue. The final result of the positive mold is shown here and in the size of this mold I compensated for the shrink that could be expected when casting this in bronze. From the positive mold, there's been a casting in silicone, so now we have a ne negative silicone mold with a plaster backing just to give it some rigidity. The silicone mold is then cast full of hot wax. 
I'm sorry to say that the wax mold and the casting of the bronze is not filmed by the foundry, even though I had asked them. But basically, they made a wax casting from this silicone one and used the lost wax method to cast the bronze. finally see the end result. I think it looks amazing. Using some chemicals and a flame, a patina is made to get the looks as close as possible to the existing one. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Like and share this video and make sure to subscribe. And for now, thanks for watching.